some of this information is very hard for family members to listen to, yes. to hear. Yes, Zena's brother, uh, Elvin Daniel, just talked to reporters a little bit ago. Our Jenna Sachs live now with his reaction to this. Uh, Jenna. Zena's brother is speaking about something that's near and dear to his heart, and that is honoring his sister's memory. At a press conference less than an hour ago, Elvin Daniel said that the last few months have been extremely difficult for his family, but he says they are a close family and they will get through it together. He says he didn't know about the threats Raglov Houghton made against his sister, and if he had, he would have taken action. He says if there's anything we can learn from this, it's that people need to speak up if they worry someone is experiencing domestic violence, especially if a life may be at risk. He wants to close loopholes in gun laws as well that allowed Houghton to get his hand on a gun. He also wants a law passed requiring abusers wear GPS tracking devices. My message is clear. I want to prevent this from happening again. I repeat that. I want to prevent this from happening again. I want to save lives. And the owner of the Azana Salon and Spa, Tammy Gemmel, is not commenting on the release of these documents today. She says they are causing stress and anxiety for her and her staff. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. Jenna, thank you very much.